רוצה לגדול ולהסביר זכויות, לגדול בסדר השעות שמעת. One said three articles written, that's how the whole thing blew up in a big way. The identical article about achievements of Mr. Chavan, which were all not advertisement but actually in news, and they were in Lokmark, Udhari, and Maharashtra Times at the same time. Now, this had a direct effect on the rule of law, and I'll show exactly how. In Punjab recent elections, the election commission received 626 complaints that some candidate or the other one you think <coughs> news because the same news used to arrive, appear in several newspapers. One way of course is to also cut off the uh, activities of the rival, but put in also the news which you wanted in your own favor. And you will be interested that 201 candidates agreed that put in the news, but all that the election commission could do and that is able to do today is to add it to the election expense. So if somebody says that this was big news and the candidate says, yes, you are right, I paid for it, then that becomes a part of the election expense. And this particular issue now is pending before the Supreme Court in a case where a candidate is supposed to have exceeded his expense because of the quantity of big news. I, this is a very interesting subject. I am not going to direct on it because of our experts are here. But I can mention that if you go to the press commission site or even Google the word press paid news, you will get a lot of material. And we have got two outstanding journalists, including Paranjay Goha Chakurda and K.S. Reddy, who have written a whole report on this. So now the question arises, what do we do about it? I look forward to it because if you give it to the government to control this, the Babu's takeover, especially in matters of taste and art. You would think of uh, courts doing, but courts are, I mean, I'm just now concerned in a television show case where somebody is, is distressed by the type of show we are showing. But court is about the last authority we really sit and look at this program and say, I think you should cut this still or that still. The best way is self-regulation. Self but we have to think about it, because sometimes I think we have to regulate the regulators also. <laughs> Thank you. May I? Now, we have great joy in meeting first Chief Justice Varma. I don't have to say anything about him. He is really the conscience of the bar. But I may tell you that he has particular expertise in this field, heading as a committee, which keeps some sort of a semblance of order, and he will explain it to us. Chief Justice Varma.
come to be regulated ultimately by a bhavu in some industry. And incidentally, I and there are many others like I mean, who have that experience. We were in the judiciary as lawyers or judges. I happen to be a lawyer during emergency. So we know what happens in the government takes over. And therefore, but then the question is, <coughs> If we don't regulate ourselves in a manner in which people think is acceptable, then that will be an excuse for the government to step in and that will be a very, very sad day. Now, media's right or the freedom of, of the press is, as everyone knows here, these lawyers, derived from the people's right to know. Now, if that is so, it is a profession, it's not a business. There are multi which seem to bring in the commercial interest of the owners. Well, I can understand no one wants to do anything for a loss, but then that should not be the, the primary concern. But that is the usual justification when we tell them that this is something which you are doing, something which you are doing is not correct. They say, sir, this is what sells. And therefore, the other fellow is doing it. So why, why don't we do that? Now, let me just tell you the body uh, which I happen to chair in this connection, uh, which is trying to help them to self-regulate. Now, that has some very eminent members who are experts in the field. Now, for example, Kiran Karne, Nitin Desai, the Prasad Dipankar Gupta, and these are all members the Banka Gupta and to have an input from the senior bureaucrat the former foreign secretary to apply these are and in order to also because none of us would know about uh, the you see nuances of uh, the media operation etc we have some senior editors also now the difference let me tell you at this very stage which is uh, in a way, um, hearted and uh, which encourages us to continue. Well, our advantage is I have told them, so long as you behave, I am there. And they tell us that the government is not uh, taking over or trying to uh, approach uh, this area because they think you are there. So I am trying to receive blackmail them and uh, <laughs> use this opportunity to tell them that I will walk out if you, if you don't behave. And, uh, you see, I, before I say what more they need to do and they, there's a lot that they need to do, you see. And these things like paid news, etc., the arcades, etc., these are very serious matters. But I can tell you that over this short period that we have been trying to help them self-regulate, the first thing is they of their own came and they said we want to self-regulate and the major news channels, you see, they are members of that association. I took six months to say yes, in order to be sure that uh, they really mean business. <coughs> and of course, I could dictate terms because it was only one of my terms. And uh, so I agree. Now, <coughs> I insisted on having all this body known as the National Broadcasting Standards Authority. <coughs> I insisted that we should have so motor cars also. So that we are not sitting there just to decide a few complaints which are. You see, anything which we know from any source, you are doing wrong. And uh, something which needs to be mechanical, uh, <coughs> we take off this. For example, therefore yesterday, I am just to give you an interesting example. I happened to sit on the TV and I was shocked to see in one of the important channels. You see, the details of military matters, I mean, which I thought are, you see, I mean, our friends across the border would pay anything to get. Well, they were being bandied out like anything. And uh, so many experts are speaking on the subject. So, when I saw it at 9 o'clock, I thanked up the Secretary General and incidentally a very efficient secretary general. See, at 10 o'clock I told her, I said, please 
issue a show cause notice yesterday morning that has been issued. We call, and we have also insisted on having the power and the, <coughs> the power with us. In an extreme case, even to recommend cancellation of license, which of course we have not done as yet. But I keep on telling them I might do it any day. Okay. We have imposed fines. We insist on their, you see, hearing an apology or, I mean, there are so many other things to do. Now, all this is big, but I can tell you, in spite of this, a lot of things have happened. One question which is very often asked from me is, supposing they don't, I, mean, I don't have any legal sanction, I don't have any authority before, supposing that they don't obey the order, I said, no problem with us. He said, thank you very much, go ahead. And you will have someone else who will make you obey. And that's what is working. It is but working till now. But the fact remains that we are not yet fully aware of. But the ways and means of paid news has been pointed out and that is shocking. TRPs, I mean, I'm told they also are somehow they cook up and all that. Another thing is, Sevi uh, uh, chairman, he called on me recently about a couple of weeks back. Now, I don't understand all this because I was one of those who in the restatement of values, uh, I have insisted on insisting that no judge should even deal with uh, or even a single share, which I had to modify because the consensus was against it. And I only, I could only say, no one will be able to respect anything share. So, I don't understand that. But I was told that another scandal, which is there, 